So, some people don't actually game. <coughs> what? I know, who would have thought? So what actually makes up a budget home office computer? Stick around to find out. Now if you haven't already guessed it, this is the computer we built in my latest series, so if you want to check that out, link right here, or there'll be links at the end of the video. So let's get into it here. For a CPU, we went for the Intel Pentium G4400. This is a 3.3 GHz dual core CPU with 3 MB of L3 cache, and it only costs $95. To house this CPU, we went with a Gigabyte B150M HD3. This is an LGA1151 motherboard that supports DDR3 RAM and 32 gigabits per second M.2. This motherboard's also of the M80X form factor and costs $125. For RAM, we went with GL Evo Veloz. This RAM is DDR3, clocked at 1600 MHz, and we went with 8 gigabytes of it. This RAM costs $79. Now, we originally went with Kingston HyperX Fury for this build, but this motherboard doesn't support 1866 MHz RAM. So, we had to swap it for the GL RAM, and yeah, just thought I'd tell you. For storage, we went with a 1TB Western Digital Blue. This drive spins at 7200 RPM and has 64 megs of cache, and only costs $80. We also went for an ASUS 24-speed DVD reader-writer. Um, not much to say about this, it's an OEM reader-writer that's SATA 3. Not that it's going to use it, but it cost us $21 and we threw it in. We also went with a Shintaro 30-in-1 card reader. This card reader, as the name suggests, reads 30 cards. And it's of the 3.5-inch form factor. And yeah, it's USB 2 and it cost us $19. To actually put that card reader in the case, we went with a Silverstone Bay Adapter. The Bay Adapter basically converts a 5.25 inch to a 3.5 inch drive. So yeah, that cost us $5. We also went with a wireless adapter and we went with TP-Link for this. Uh, it's a 300 megabits per second wireless N adapter that goes in your PCI Express 1X slot, and it cost us $19. To house this build, we went with the Thermaltek Versa H22. I've built in this case a lot, it's a very nice case. It has a 500 watt power supply that comes with it, also it has USB 3. It's basically just a very nice case for $99. Thanks for watching guys, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment if you have anything to say about this video, share it if you think anyone you know will enjoy it, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.